Hi guys. It's still Christmas morning as I write this script, and I was never too good at the Christmas spirit thing, so I figured I might as well make myself useful and put together a video that's been worth making for a long time. An update video! There's a lot of stuff I want to talk about that I haven't been updating you guys on, like my Spider-Man show, what videos are in the making, and just my thoughts about the channel in general. This is just sort of like a 2023 wrap-up kind of video. I'll start with the big fish here, my Spider-Man show. Now some of you might have noticed that one of the videos cataloging the show's development is missing. And that's because I fucking got rid of that video. Shocker, I know, but it's gonna tie into a later topic in this video, but to be brief, I did not like that video. I think the stuff in it is no longer representative of what I want the show to be, and I think I'd much rather just not have it up at all because the show's changed so much. It's not a bad change either, it's just that I want the show to be different than the ideas I pitched in that video, and I want to make sure the show is as good as it can be. To do that, I feel like I have to put a lot less stress on myself as a showrunner. There's a lot that goes into making an animated episode of a show, even just one, and I'm not a scriptwriter, you know? I know that if I wrote a script for a Spider-Man story, it wouldn't be too great, would it? My very first Spider-Man suit wasn't good. And look at how long it took me to get to the point where I'm at now where I'm practically making spot-on replicas in some pretty nice suits of my own. I can't write plots for cartoons. I'm no writer. And I don't want other people writing my show either. So that's only left me one option. My show will have to adapt Spider-Man comic stories almost entirely comic accurately. Some lines in the book can be changed. For example, I tend to find Spider-Man monologues about what he's doing as he's doing it a little too much in some scenes. We wouldn't need to have Spider-Man explaining the action if he's animated, so we'd probably just have to settle for a quip or two while he's navigating an action scene. I know some of you guys might be upset, but this is the only way that I can guarantee the show's quality won't be dog shit. I also didn't like a lot of the art in that earlier video, and I think my newer drawings look so much better, and the show has aged a lot more since then. Like I'm starting to realize why people who make things wouldn't show off their concept art for their project at any chance they get. I feel like a child spamming drawings to put on an imaginary fridge. I don't know. I just didn't like it. Get mad at me all you want. It's my channel, goddammit. Someone else can just find the video and re-upload it. I don't care. Go get your bag from YouTube money in this cruel and horrible world. It'll help you more than it hurts me to still have that video in existence. Anyway, my Spider-Man show has gotten so much cooler now. Check out these clips. Oh, what's the use? Everywhere I look, I see more and more problems. My Aunt May won't speak to me because I dropped out of graduate school. Joe Robertson is giving me hassles at work. My relationship with Black Cat seems to be getting shakier by the moment. And there's always just a host of baddies who just love to ace me. Sheesh. Why does everything have to be so complicated? It's so depressing. Sometimes I feel like I have absolutely no control over my own life. And that frightens me. more manageable last time. You know, if my hands were free, I would so take a picture of Anyway, that's all to say, the show is still coming, and I'm trying my best to make sure it gets the appropriate amount of attention. I really feel bad for everyone on the production team. They've been really getting along with each other, and I'm just gone all the time because I'm trying to run a YouTube channel, write videos, film videos, edit videos, make suits, be a live streamer, have a personal life, tend to all my responsibilities, and make my own Spider-Man show all at the same time. Those animations I showed you just now were part of an old plan to make a bunch of clips to post on the main channel for you guys to get hyped about. But honestly, they've just turned into test animations for me to get used to making the visual look for the show and the voice actors get used to putting their voices down to be animated. I actually did some voice work with Show the Show for one of these test animations. His parts aren't animated yet, but I can show you what is. Nobody loves me. Maybe I need to hire a PR person. 
Or maybe just shout it from the rooftops. <sighs> My, My name, name is, is Spider-Man, Spider and, and I am here, here to help! help. Shut up, Spider-Man. As I said, the show is still coming. I don't know when, but I am working on the first episode now, I swear. I still need to edit the story a bit, get rid of excessive dialogue, and do so many more things before it'll be done. But alright, that's all I got to say about the show. So let's move on to other topics. Like my feelings about YouTube. You know, I'm sure you guys have heard this story from me over and over and over again, but I've always wanted to be a YouTuber ever since I was a little kid. But now that I'm here, there's so much stuff that I have to be absolutely excellent at to be happy with the quality of my work. Looking back, a lot of my videos are riddled with errors, editing mistakes, choppy frame rates, and all that nasty stuff. I always feel bad for my fans who want to go back to watch my older videos, only to be met with work that's not even subpar. Honestly, it makes me kind of feel like a shitty YouTuber, and I don't want to feel that way about my videos anymore. So I think next year, I really want to try to make every video something that I enjoy. And maybe that means going back and remastering old videos to make sure they're better for rewatching. I want to be a better YouTuber, and I want to make sure my content is as high quality as possible, while also making content that I would like to make. There are so many videos I want to make next year, like a video on Spider-Man action figures, a web shooter tutorial, and of course the long-awaited MCU Spider-Man movie reviews, and so much more. I want to make more cosplay videos, but those never do as good as my other videos. So if you want more tutorials and shit, you gotta gas up the ones that already exist or else I'm not making any more. I also got a couple scripts in the works as we speak, like a video on the Neversoft Spider-Man PlayStation game. I had a lot of fun playing it, so much fun that I plan to write another full-length breakdown of it, similar to my Spider-Man movie game video. That's also another video I kinda feel is lacking. Half the script is just me describing what's happening in the game, and it doesn't really make for an engaging script. So this time, I plan to write a better script, along with a way better video too. I'm also working on the Spider-Man 2 alternate color palette review video, which I might split up into a Peter palette video and then a Miles palettes video. It's less work on me, and it guarantees you guys get content sooner if I upload one before the other. I'm still writing down all my opinions for the Peter palettes, and it's gonna take a while, but it's coming. Anyway, there's a lot of craziness going on around me, and I'm trying my hardest to hold everything together. I want next year to be truly amazing video-wise, and I can't wait to get them started. If you have any ideas on what you'd like to see me cover, please leave them down below. Now's the time to tell me something you'd want me to make a video about, because I'm more likely to make your video ideas now more than ever. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time, and have a happy new year.